to YouTube, you guys are not watching another segment of the Cali Effect King of Games. And today, we're going to be building a competitive deck out of the Rocket Revolt Structure decks. I mean, I don't even know why I even have it on this. I mean, I think it's a main reminder to give me a shout out to my boys at Hubbub Gaming for actually getting this to me on time so I can make the video for you guys. So, you know, obviously we can get into it. So the Rocket Revolt Structure deck, have I been saying this right? Yes, it's structured at Rocket Revolt is coming out today, as you guys can see. Um, and it does have a great list of cards. Some of the best repoints um, in this deck are Topologic, or I'm sorry, Borlo Dragon. You get common versions of those. You get common versions of Twin Twisters. You get Return of the Dragon Lords and so many more awesome cards. We're going to be going ahead and opening up one. I'm going to send one off to the side so these can get open. And uh, we're going to be going over it. And after that, obviously, I will be giving you guys a competitive deck profile using just three of these structure decks. And then hopefully we can get you guys a competitive live duel with the Rocket Strategy. So, man, I I'm really excited to see. Oh, man, hold on. Let me. <laughs> you got to find that little piece first. Where is that? I'm pretty bad. At how, how far are you? How did you get that off? How'd you? You, yeah, you, you give me that. <laughs> Here, open this one for me. Thank you. <laughs> so you get Topologic Zerboros. <laughs> oh, man. Let me see if I can actually zoom this in. And Topologic Zerboros, I couldn't zoom it in, is a new Link 4 monster that requires just two effect monsters in the defense read. You cannot normal summon or set monsters to any extra monster zone this card points to. What? I mean, all right. Gains 200 attack for each banished card. Oh, okay. So basically what it's saying is there, there's actually an extra link. You can V-link your opponent if you go a monster with a diagonal arrow pointing right here, and you go a monster with a diagonal arrow pointing here, you'd be able to link someone right there and prevent your opponent from playing Yu-Gi-Oh. This one, this card will not allow you to do that. Okay, that's basically what it means. Um... This card gains 200 attack for each banished card. If another monster is special summoned to a link arrow, this monster points to. While this card is on the field, banish all cards on the field. Once per turn, do any standby phase of your next turn after this card was banished by its own effect. Special summon this banished card. Hold on, hold on, hold on. While this card, banish all cards on the field. Oh, okay. So it special summons itself after banishing all cards. Really pretty interesting card. Again, none of the link fours tend to be bad. One of them, the worst one, wasn't part of an FTK. We get Borload Furious Dragon and it requires two Dark Dragon monsters. You can target one one monster you control and one card your opponent controls. Destroy them. You can banish this card from your graveyard to target one Dark Link monster in your graveyard. Spell summon it, but it cannot activate its effects this turn. You can only use each effect of Borload Furious Dragon once per turn. So a nice addition, a really good fusion monster. Quad Boro Dragon, which requires two dragon monsters, including a rocket monster, meaning that it must have a rocket monster as a part of its summon. As says, you can discard one card, then target one face-up monster on the field. You cannot spell summon link two or lower monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn. Also, you can destroy the targeted monster. Then, if if it was a link monster, you can spell summon any number of rocket monsters with different names from your hand to the graveyard up to that monster's link rating. You can only use Quad Boro Dragon once per turn. The new Silver Rocket Dragon is pretty interesting. It says when a Link Monster effect is activated that targets this face-up card on the field, you can destroy this card, then look at your opponent's extra deck and banish one card from it. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was destroyed battle or sent there this turn, you can spell someone Rocket Monster from your deck except for Silver Rocket Dragon. You can only use these effects once per turn. Next is Rocket Tracer, and this card is another new Rocket card. It says, quick effect, you can target one face-up card you control, Destroy it, and if you do, special one rocket monster from your deck. This is the main card for any dragon link, any any link based deck that wants to involve rocket monsters. This seems like the main card. Special one rocket monster from your deck, except for race rocket rocket tracer. Also, you cannot spell some monsters from the extra deck, except dark monsters for the rest of this turn. Okay, you can only use this effect of rocket tracer once per turn. That's pretty odd, you know. This card's also really good. It's Opsaruder. Dragon, Opsa Router Dragon? Opsa, Opsa Router Dragon? Okay, oh, Router, okay, makes sense. Uh, if you control the Rocket Monster, you can spell summon this card from your hand. Oh, sweet, another Dragon Monster that we can just freely extend to our side of the field. You can only control one of this Router Dragons once per turn, or you can only spell summon this card once per turn this way. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Rocket Monster from your deck to your hand, and you can only use that effect once per turn. That's a pretty cool effect. Next is Zero Date Blaster. 
And that card says tribute one dark link monster. The target cards on the field equal to this link rating to destroy them. I think that's a pretty decent card. I think Rocket Recharger and Explode Rocket are new cards. But I think that's pretty much, I want to say that's it for the new cards. If we did make some new cards, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to let us know from the monster wise and, you know, post down in the description what they do. What Rocket Recharger does is if a dark monster you control with special summon from the extra deck is destroyed without our card effect, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, target one of your destroyed monsters, special summon one dark monster from your graveyard with a different name. Okay, that's pretty good. And then Explode Rocket Dragon. So when a link monster is activated that targets this face-up card on the field, you can destroy this card, then each player takes 2,000 damage. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was destroyed by battle or card effect, it's in this turn, you can special one rocket monster from your deck except for Exploder Rocket. Basically, this deck seems to be built off of using your link monsters to destroy your rocket monsters to gain their effects, and they also have an additional effect when they're targeted by a link monster. That's pretty cool. Um, going into the spell cards, you get Boral Supplier. It's a continuous spell card. It says, let me go ahead and pull up the other one. It says, during each standby phase, if you control a world link monster, you can target one rock, rocket monster in your graveyard, spell summon it, but destroying during the end phase. You also get rapid trigger, which says fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by destroying fusion materials on it from, from the field, but it's also, una oh, I'm sorry. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by destroying fusion materials on it listed on the field, but it can only attack special summon monsters from the extra deck. Also, it is unaffected by the activated effects of any other monster special summon from the extra deck. You can only activate one rapid trigger once per turn. I like that it's a really good, like, it's a, it destroys your rockets, so it gets your monster's effects, and it fusion summons to your side of the field. I mean, I'm pretty sure everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Um, Booster Dragon, I'm not sure if that's OCG, but we're going to go over that card really quick. It says, once per turn, you can target one other face-up monster on the field. It gains 500 attack and defense. Your opponent cannot activate cards in response to this effect. If this card is linked, summon is destroyed by an opponent's card effect. You can target... Okay, no, I don't think that that card's new at all. You also get, of course, your common Borlo Dragon, common Triple Burst Dragon. You get common Quick Launch, which is really, really good. Common Boot Sector Launch. So many great cards in the structure deck. I think it is an excellent buy. So getting on to making this deck as competitive as possible. We got to put our thinking brains together, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you guys the mat. Sweet. That's not a bad mat. You know, whatever. Looking at the back. Oh, man. You can combine it with cards from Dark Neo Storm like Delindridge Dragon. You get... I don't think that these are great cards to add with, but that Borload Savage Dragon would be an excellent card to play it with. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, I don't want to say, well, we're going to go ahead and just throw this to the side because I don't like listening to instructions. Look, if you've ever went about your life by reading instructions, you lived life the wrong way. You got to throw caution to the wind. I don't need to read none of that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into what we will play in this deck. I'm obviously going to play three copies of Rocket Tracer. This is the guy that lets you target one card you control, destroy it, and if you do special summon Rocket Monster from your deck, I like that card. Um, we'll also follow up with three copies of Silver Rocket Dragon, so we're also going to run three of that. So where is my other one? We have a, a decent core, so three, three, and three, three of all of our super rares. And I like, I have a strong feeling this is a terrible idea, so we might have to backtrack. But so far, I mean, three, three, and three seems pretty decent. I know that I want to run three Opsa Router, two to three of these, and I know I want to run three Tracer. So that's nine. Next, my Guard Dragon of choice that is a common. Hmm. I think Magna Rocket Dragon is a pretty decent two of. When it's destroyed, you get to destroy um, I'm sorry, uh, if a link monster targets this card, you can destroy this card, then send one monster on the field to the graveyard. So, you target it with your Boral Low Dragon, you destroy it, and then you can send a card on your opponent's side of the field to the graveyard, and then you get a rocket monster during your end phase, like all rocket effects. I'm gonna run one Shell Rocket, because this card is really interesting. You can destroy it, and then destroy, it's literally like 
So, I, I don't know if you guys know, but the rocket monsters are kind of like guns. The Boro is a barrel, the rocket, like, is like... Anyways, you can destroy this card, and it's like a shotgun. So, it destroys monsters in the adjacent zones. I thought that was pretty cool. I think Anis, Anis Rocket is a decent one of as well. Right now, I'm kind of cherry picking. I'm not 100% sure if I want to run so many. I mean, if I'm running just three structure decks, then yeah, I feel like I'm going to run all rocket monsters and then be okay with that. I want to run World Chalice Guard Dragon, but the normal monster target is Labradorite Dragon, and I don't really have a way to tutor that to my side of the field. Um, I think Metal Rocket Dragon might do something. All right, Metal Rocket Dragon is just a straight up column destroyer. Defrag Dragon seems cool. You can spell summon this card by sending one other monster from your hand to the graveyard. Okay, this actually isn't that bad. Defrag Dragon might be what we need to start off with our combo. So I'm going to run two copies of Defrag. Um, just limiting yourself just to this structure deck is interesting. What does Checksum Dragon do? When your opponent monster declares an attack, you spell summon this card, then gain life points equal to... Uh, I don't think that card's that good. Uh, we might not have a choice, though. Want to link monster? Okay, so Exploder Rocket is definitely out of the equation. It doesn't do anything for us except for inflict damage to our opponent. We're going to take Rocket Recharger out too. That card's not that great either. So we, we're already starting to take out some cards that are just... I, I don't feel we're really good for the strategy right now. So we'll run Auto Rocket Dragon because it is a destruction of our spell and trap. And so far we have 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17... Um, I want to run a third defrag just for 18. Where are you, defrag? I feel like defrag is going to be an excellent extender uh, with this particular structure deck because, again, having that extra dragon will allow you to start linking off, which is really big since we run two link four effect monsters. That's kind of like a lot. Okay, so Rocket Synchron is immediately a card that I want to run as well. I think I'm going to run two copies of this card. Uh, it does require your normal summon, which is why I'm a little uh, hesitant to be able to special summon it or to be able to use it. But uh, ultimately, it, it does what it does. I don't want to use any, like, Keeper of the Shrine. I don't want to use Raiden. Gateway Dragon says, if your opponent controls a Link Monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Huh. I like Gateway Dragon. We'll run... Uh, Oh, crap, we can run Triple Gateway Dragon. That actually might be a good budget alternative because it seems like this deck just wants two dragons to your side of the field to start popping off with your combos. And again, all the deck, the entire deck is like... Background Dragon isn't terrible, but it is a level five. Has to be in the graveyard. I can't think of a way to put it in the graveyard. So we have Triple Gateway Dragon, Triple Defrag Dragon. These are dragon starters. We also have our mini rockets with a rocket synchron. Our big daddy target for a rocket synchron is our apps router dragon. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. What does silver rocket do? This card, when it's destroyed, it gets a. Okay, I only run two of these. So just two of you, you're important and you're pretty important. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 monsters so far. So for the spells, we're going to keep it rather quick. Um, of course, I'm going to run three. Uh, I think I actually have to run three of the field spell. From what I've seen, the link monster that searches it doesn't exist right now. Yeah, the link monster that searches boot sector launch just doesn't exist so i'm gonna be forced to run three boot sector launches and three quick launches to follow it up and boot sector launch says uh all rocket monsters gain 300 attack and defense you can activate one of these effects special summon two rocket monsters with different names from your hand and defense position that should be easy. If your opponent controls more monsters, you can do special summon rocket monsters with different names from your graveyard and defense position up to the difference. So this is going to be our main card. And then we're going to have three quick launch to get those rocket monsters to our side of the field. Um, basically, it looks like this deck just wants to extend as many rocket monsters to your side of the field as possible. 
we do have dragon shrine so we can actually send after router dragon from our deck to the graveyard which will trigger itself to be able to add monsters from our decks to our hand i'm gonna run two shrine i want to run one copy of rapid trigger because it feels like it'll be the win condition i think having this card like to be able to special summon a monster in the battle phase and continue off your attacks is pretty good Boral Supplier is decent. I don't want to say it's great. I want to say it's decent. And looking at Return of the Dragon Lords, I don't think that's going to be a great card for us right now. We only have one target. Granted, being able to special summon that card back to our side of the field continuously seems good, but I think that it's a little shaky. I'm going to run two Twin Twisters. You know, that's just a great staple. So for Traps, the only card I really see is like decent is Zero Day Blaster. I guess I'll run two of those. I was looking at the Mirror Force cards, but Mirror Force are it's pretty whack. That's just like not good anymore. I, I don't I wouldn't run these. I'm just wouldn't. They're decent cards, but I don't think that they'd work for this particular deck. Um, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen to twenty-two makes thirty-six, which means we have room for four more cards. I don't want to ignore this World Chalice engine, especially since I have the dragon shrine so i could play world chalice guard dragon and a labradorite dragon bringing me up to 38 and then i wish labradorite dragon was a seven right now because i'd be able to re i'd be able to justify return of the dragon lords i think i'm actually going to go ahead and wrap it up with a third dragon shrine and for the last card uh man uh what does boot sector regenerator do activate this by targeting a rocket monster in your graveyard special summon it but banish it when it leaves to the field. If this card is sent to the graveyard because the quick monster was destroyed, huh? We'll go with the Boral Regenerator. That's a nice one of. So um, basically going over the deck, I, I know I'm running like, oh man, I, I don't like the fact that I'm running three Dragon Shrine. I would love to run a Foolish Burial, but unfortunately that's just not how the cookie crumbles in this particular deck. I'm going to be running uh, three outs router dragons this card is the surge big daddy card um and if you control the rocket monster it's an extender on itself i followed it up by more extenders by running cards like three copies of gateway dragon which allows you to special summon a dark dragon to your side of the field and also if your opponent has a link monster on your side of the field you can get this card to your side of the field for free you get three copies of defrag dragon just being able to get those uh dragon monsters to your side of the field as fast as possible uh, three copies of Rocket Tracer, which allows you to destroy a card you control and then spell summon a Rocket Monster from your choosing from your deck to your side of the field. Two Silver Rocket Dragon, which allows you to disrupt your opponent. Two Magna Rocket Dragon, or disrupt their extra deck, which allows you to destroy monsters on your opponents or send monsters on your opponent's side of the field to the graveyard. One Shell Rocket, which allows you to destroy cards in adjacent zones. One anesthetic rocket, which makes one monster unable to attack and negates its effect. You can actually probably play more copies of this card. It's really good. One auto rocket dragon, which gets rid of spells and traps. Two rocket synchron, which allows you to tutor your outer router dragon back to your side of the field. And then we also run the metal rocket dragon, which allows you to destroy all cards and the column that this card is in, spells and traps alike. One World Chalice Guard Dragon to basically combo off with the Labradorite Dragon is a free dragon to your side of the field. You Dragon Shrine the Labradorite, then send the World Chalice Guard Dragon. Well, guess what? Now your Labradorite Dragon can be special summoned to where the Guard Dragon points to. And also, it's a it's a hand trap. It, it works as a hand trap. That works too. So that's it for the monsters at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 22, 24. For the spells, three copies of Boot Sector Launch. This card is going to be able to recur you your rocket monsters to your side of the field. Uh, three copies of Quick Launch. This card spells summons rocket monsters to your side of the field for free. It's one of the better cards of the deck. Three copies of Dragon Shrine, sending free dragons from your deck to your graveyard. One Rapid Trigger for to be able to destroy your monsters to be able to spell summon your fusion. One Boral Supplier because it allows you to... Um, during your stimulus phase, if you control a Boral Link monster, you can target one Rocket monster in your graveyard. Okay, just making sure. It gets you a free Link uh, monster to your side of the build. Twin Twisters for back row destruction. Boral Regenerator is a special summon card. And then Zero Day Blaster for you to be able to get rid of that massive threat. So of course, for the extra deck, I mean, we'd run three copies of Boral Load Fusion, three copies of our uh, Topologic uh, Zero Buros. We're going to run three copies of Boral Load Dragon, three copies of Booster Dragon, actually three, six, nine, twelve. No, we're not going to run three copies of this because we need to run multiple copies of this card as well. So no, we're not going to run three, 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 three of everything. We kind of can't, but at the same time, just using three structure decks 
does make it a little bit easier to determine what you were going to do with your deck. So rewinding it just a little bit, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be running three copies of Booster Dragon because it is a, it's the easier Link 2 to get to. Not the easier of the two, but it's easier as a Link monster to summon. Where's that third one? <laughs> then I'm going to run three copies of my Quad Boral Dragon. Let me find my third one. Here we, nope, that's the wrong card. Just know that there's three copies of that card in here, ladies and gentlemen. It's supposed to be three. We're also gonna follow up with three copies of Triple B, bro. Cardi B up in this thing. <laughs> so we're at nine, three copies of Boral Low Dragon, just because we have the room. So we're at 12. Um, actually, let's make it two copies. So we're at 11. And then two copies of Zero Burrows, which makes 13. And two copies of Borload Fusion Dragon. Actually, you can cut this down because we only run one. And three copies of Borload Dragon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun going over the structure deck. And I know you guys can't wait for me to actually make a competitive Rocket Link deck profile. Go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys want to see it. But until then, we have that budget deck profile. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. But most of all, enjoy. I hope you guys are having a great day like I am.